The upcoming Galaxy S26 series might be Samsung's most powerful flagship lineup yet. A new report reveals that the Exynos 2600, the chipset expected to power the Galaxy S26 and Galaxy S26 Plus, is showing benchmark scores on par with Apple's M5 chip, something that once seemed almost impossible, the Exynos. 2600 is Samsung's next-generation application processor. Built using an advanced 2 nanometer process, this cutting-edge technology promises significant boosts in both performance and power efficiency. If the reports are accurate, the Galaxy S26 series could be the first smartphone lineup in the world to feature a 2 nanometers chipset, placing Samsung far ahead in the mobile race dot in most regions. The Galaxy S26 and S to 6 Plus are rumored to run on the Exynos 2600, while the Ultra model will use it in select markets like Europe and South Korea. Meanwhile, the US, China, and Japan variants of the Galaxy S26 series are expected to feature the Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 5 for Galaxy. But the surprising part is that this time, the Exynos version may actually outperform the Snapdragon chip. According to leaked Geekbench 6 results, the Exynos 2600 achieved an incredible single-core score of 4,217 and a multi-core score of 13,482. These numbers not only surpassed the earlier Exynos to 500 results, but also outperformed the Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 5, which reportedly reached single-core and multi-core scores of 2,865 and 9,487 respectively. If these scores are real, the Exynos 2600 could finally dethrone Qualcomm and challenge Apple's dominance in raw performance. The Exynos 2600 uses a 10-core CPU in a 1 to 3 plus X configuration. The prime core runs at 4.20 GHz, supported by three performance cores at 3.56 GHz and six efficiency cores at 2.76 GHz. The combination delivers exceptional balance between power and efficiency. It also uses Samsung's gay taller GAA transistor technology which reduces current leakage and boosts performance, a major leap for Samsung Foundry. However, these benchmark results should be taken with caution. Geekbench's own database currently doesn't display this result, meaning the numbers could have been removed or never officially listed. Still, if they turn out to be legitimate, this would make the Exynos 2600 one of the fastest smartphone processors ever created. Its single-core performance nearly matches Apple's M5 chip which scored for 1,263 points, just a slight edge over Samsung's new chip. This is a remarkable achievement for Samsung, especially considering how far its Exynos chips have come. A few years ago, Exynos processors were criticized for being less efficient and weaker than Qualcomm's Snapdragon chips. Back in 2019 and 2020, Samsung even shut down its custom CPU core development team because its Mongoose cores were underperforming. At one point, Samsung even used Snapdragon processors for its Galaxy S20 lineup in South Korea, disappointing local fans. But since then, Samsung has made massive improvements. The Exynos 2200, 2400, and now the 2600 show that Samsung is serious about competing at the top level. The Exynos 2600 doesn't just represent a new chip. It symbolizes a comeback. From a business perspective, this is also great news for Samsung. Producing its own high-performance chips could save hundreds of millions of dollars in licensing costs. For instance, when Samsung faced production issues with the Exynos 2500 last year, it had to pay Qualcomm an extra for $100 million for Snapdragon chips to power the Galaxy S25 lineup. With improved yield rates at Samsung Foundry, the Exynos 2600 might help avoid that situation altogether. It's also worth noting that Samsung Foundry's 2 nanometers process is showing great promise. While TSMC remains the global leader in chip manufacturing with over 70% market share, Samsung is closing the gap, currently holding about 7.3%. If the Exynos 2600 lives up to expectations, it could become Samsung Foundry's biggest success story yet. Even though the Exynos 2600's multi-core score of 13,480 to still trails behind, Apple's M5 multi-core score of 17,862, the gap is smaller than ever. Considering that Apple's M5 is used in laptops and tablets, Samsung reaching this level in a smartphone chip is nothing short of extraordinary dot with all these improvements. The Galaxy S26 series could redefine how people see Exynos powered phones. Instead of being seen as the weaker version, Exynos models might actually become the preferred choice in some markets. The Galaxy S26 series, powered by the 2 nanometers Exynos 2600, represents Samsung's most confident step yet toward chip independence and leadership in performance.
If these benchmark results hold true, the Galaxy S26 series might mark the moment when Samsung finally stands shoulder to shoulder with Apple, not just in camera or display quality, but in pure processing power. This time, the Exynos name might finally earn the respect it has been chasing for years.